So if you've got yourself a little John Deere and uh, have a need to move around some round bales, like I do, this is the direction that I've gone for getting those babies moved around. We had a three-point attachment before, but figured we'd uh, start moving around with the front of the tractor since we got a front end loader. This is a Cornus 2 bale spike with two stabilizing spikes. Got this off of Amazon, whatever the cheapest price was at the time. And it's going to be going on to a Titan Attachments uh, HD pallet fork with bale spike adapter. So I put my pallet forks on here, and when I got to move a round bale around, I take those forks off and put in the round bale spikes. So these things are pretty handy, and if you've got a Little John Deere with the hook and pin front ends. These things are pretty sweet. Got a couple things from Titan Attachments and uh, they don't disappoint, that's for sure. When you go to put in your stabilizing spikes, you'll find that the uh, paint that's applied to these is pretty thick and it makes for a pretty snug fit. So what I should have done with this was run the spike through completely the first time, kind of reaming the paint out and then trying to line everything up, but you get to watch my learning process. The second one goes a little quicker. Getting that bolt to line up with the hole in the stabilizer spike is a bit of a treat, but once you figure it out, you just tighten it down. It's pretty simple. I'm specifically doing this by hand right now. I don't want to start turning that bolt in with the ratchet because I don't want to strip out the uh, stabilizer holder that's right there that the bolt is threaded into. So I'm just pushing that spike in, turning that bolt down by hand, and then once I feel it start to set itself into the stabilizer spike, that's when I'll start turning the wrench on it, but not before that. So, same as the first one, back that bolt out, make sure it's all the way out, or at least enough so that you can slide that spike in. You start ramming that baby in there, clearing some of that paint out, it's a snug fit. The second and third time go much, much easier, but that first time through is a little bit of whacking and banging. And there you go. Figure out where it's all set up. Go easy on it and then start running it in. So now we're all set for the main event. This is it, this is the big one. Just pop that in there. Take that large nut that came with it, stick it on the uh, other side of it. I turned it down by hand until it started to get a little challenging. And then after that, I just used the pipe wrench. And, uh, you don't need to go super crazy on this. And once it's touching, just give it a little snug and you don't have to go too, too crazy because uh, if you're like me, you're gonna wanna take it off when you're done with it, put your pallet forge back on. So you don't wanna make it so hard to get off that you, uh, you can't essentially. And this is just a little demo. It's got a truck hitch receiver in it, two inch. I've moved a few little things around with it. It's interesting novelty, but I haven't found that aspect of it to be super uh, helpful. So. so there you go. This is the Titan Attachments HD pallet fork, bail spike, two inch truck receiver, and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. So if you got yourself a little John Deere, check one out. See you later.